I don't want to grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid. Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. And look, I'm sorry, y'all, but I mean, your boy can't resist, man. If I'm gonna, you know, see some buffoonery, you know what I'm saying, um, being played out on the internet, uh, your boy gonna talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're gonna make like MGK and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Up Church have put out a new video. This one being called Their Brains Are Fried. And then he's got the cancel emoji next to the title. So I don't know. I guess he he, he about to make like, like like a liberal and try to cancel some people or something. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to get into this one because your boy actually did get us a once over. And uh, I don't get it, man. I thought the beef was over. I thought the drama was done. I thought it was deaded. But apparently it ain't deaded. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this, this video. And uh, your boy gonna, gonna give his take, and I don't care if Mr. Onesie wearing looking ass over here um, don't like it. Or, you know what I mean? Or if he does like it, I really don't care. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, oh, now, now you two wanna act all whole fool when I'm trying to, you know, point out some real stuff. Okay. What in the hell do these certain country rap dudes, what do you want from me, motherfucker? Um, I don't think anybody wants anything from you except for your friendship and for you to act your age. I mean, aren't you the one that's always on the internet throwing out your age? You know what I'm saying? Talking about how you're a grown ass man who's like in his mid thirties now and, um, all this and that, you know what I mean? That you, you don't got time for nonsense. You don't got time for buffoonery. Hmm. It seems like you have plenty of time for some buffoonery, but anyway. Y'all ain't making no sense. The fans are looking at what y'all are doing and they're like, we're confused. They're coming to me and asking me what's going on. And to be real, I don't have an answer because I think it also looks confusing. Uh, I don't act like y'all. I don't do the things y'all do. You're right. You don't act like these grown mature men because let me tell you something. I've been watching... Um, a cow lately I've been following him on, on Instagram you know what I'm saying I'm seeing him post up you know videos and little clips of him spending time with his family because he's a family man you're now a family man right I, I've only seen maybe like a picture or two here and there of you with your daughter and everything or you with your girl and everything so like I don't know dude it, it seems like some people know how to some people have their priorities in line and others don't. And we're not going to get into who because I think the evidence is clearly showing who has their priorities straight and who doesn't. So anyway. And I'm just in this shit for different reasons than you guys. It's apparent that I'm a whole ass different kind of person. For oh, you're definitely a different kind of person. Different kind of person, but not in the way that you may think you are. Sure. Because, I mean, damn, bro, when y'all talk online, it's like... Uh, wait, wait. ...that I'm a whole ass different kind of person, for sure. Because, I mean, damn, bro, when y'all talk online, it's like y'all are reading a script. You can't even just go off the fly and just talk about something. I mean... And what do you want them to talk about, hmm? Talk about other people like you because dog let's not play ourselves every instagram story every single day and i know this because i follow you on instagram and i get alerts all the time from you lately almost 90 percent of your instagram stories are you talking about other people who apparently are talking about you you're you're, you're funny you're living up in, in in ghost ranch chasing ghosts on the internet um it's either like quotes. You're 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 putting up these these silly little fucking feminist quotes about how oh you know we got these people you know talking about me trying to get rid of me and all this and that blah blah blah. Nobody's trying to get rid of you, dude. Nobody nobody cares. You're killing your own career. How do I know this? You have a sub count of 
3.27 million uh, subs, right? But yet your videos, they're not even getting half of that. This video, last I checked, has how many views? 51, over 51K views. And it only has 6K likes. Nobody wants this stuff, but nobody is gonna tell you to stop doing what you're doing because can nobody tell you what to do, right? You're gonna do just whatever you wanna do, right? Which is fine, I mean, yeah, that, that's your right. As an American citizen, that's your God-given right. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want. But don't expect, you know, a desired result in what you do. I'm just saying. Anyway. I mean, fuck, man. Is this why everybody comes to me like, bro, what, how'd you do it? What's the blueprint? What fucking blueprint are you talking about? There ain't one. Be yourself? There, there's the fucking blueprint. Then they're like, no, there's got to be more to it. If there is, I don't know about it. Or I didn't use it. What the fuck do you want me to say to you, dude? I highly doubt people are going to you, especially these days, over the, what the blueprint is. Again, you have over 3 million subs. Your best videos are only doing five figure views. Your latest album, Turbulence, I went through the playlist of that thing. Some videos only have five figure views. Some of the some of the tracks have five figure views. There's probably maybe a few tracks here and there that have six figure views. While you have a seven figure sub count. The math ain't math ain't right. So I highly doubt these days people are coming to you as to what the blueprint is or what the formula is. Dog, you're, you're looking all kinds of bad right now. This this is embarrassing. Even by up church standards, this is embarrassing. Then they're like, well, the church only cares about his fucking self. Are you serious right now? What are you talking about? I'm the last person that I care about. If that were true, then why are you wasting time talking about other people on the internet when you have a family to care for? Obviously. Bro, everything's been documented thus far. Do you not see what the fans are saying to y'all? The listeners are saying to y'all? No, because they don't care. Nobody cares about what a bunch of people on the internet have to say. It's the internet. Everybody has an opinion on the internet. Nobody cares. That's not that important. But it's important to you. Yeah, y'all are getting fucking demolished right now. Why? Because what does what do they say in hip hop? Says the guy who's self sabotaging himself. I can barely get that out. <laughs> but yeah, says the guy who is self sabotaging himself. You didn't do the fucking homework. You didn't do the fucking homework. Because this guy trying to take people to school, and meanwhile, he looking like a whole fool. Y'all sitting here preaching about making the genre fucking bigger, making it bigger. How? You don't know how to do nothing that involves music, dude. Y'all say shit that is so, like, blatantly, like, what the fuck? Like, how do they not know this? Like, today, I see the video that come out about me. What do you know? And... And where is this video? I mean, please, somebody kindly send me the link to this video so I can look at it. Cause you know, I'm all about fairness. I'll, I'll react to it. Please show me this video by somebody that uh, he's talking about. Kind of hard to find it when you don't name names. You don't give a source. Spoken like a true liberal. I mean, I'm just saying. The rapper in the video is like trying to say that there's a the church has a problem with the church's problem is he thinks everyone's out to get him. <laughs> well, like I said, you put stuff out there. You clearly show that you are paranoid. You think people are coming after you. That's why you post your these little quotes in your Instagram stories or these little clips in your Instagram stories of you talking about other people trying to shut you down 
trying to destroy what you and Creek Squad helped build. Dog, it bothers you what people say about you on the internet. You clearly show it. If it doesn't bother you, then what's the point of these videos? Why are you making these videos? I'm not saying don't make these videos. I'm not telling you what to do. You, Like I said, you have all the rights to do whatever it is you want to do. But just know that your actions don't match your words. If shit like this doesn't really bother you, then there's no point in making videos about this shit. I'm just saying. Are you fucking serious? Are you I have serious? zero anxiety about anyone out to get me. That is not true. Why? Because since 2018, everyone's been out to get me. Do you know how many court cases I've had? Bro, there is no anxiety about anybody. Now, I will be fair and say that some of those court cases... <clears throat> okay, yeah, they are, fu they are fucked up beyond his control. However, there are some court cases. If we're going to be fair, we're going to keep it a buck. There are some court cases that were self-inflicted. That were his fault. Everybody coming to get me. I don't, at this point, I don't give a fuck if everybody's coming to get me. What? But yet, here you are talking about people coming to get you. See, look at, this is exactly what people are talking about. You're on here on the internet talking about how people are coming to get you and you're trying to convince your audience but really you're trying to convince yourself that you don't care about that if that were true again you wouldn't be making a video about this shit you would be making a video talking about something else if that were the case again the actions don't match the words what a dumb fucking comment the next thing this person said is another one of those how do you not know this? You're in music, right? He said everybody could tell because even people the closest to you have moved away from you. And those people are right. Look at the list of people you're no longer close with anymore when it comes to the music game. You, you push Struggle Jennings away. You push Jelly Roll away. You push A Cal away. You don't maintain your relationships with, with people. It takes two to tango, my guy. I don't see you and Demon Jones doing anything anymore. Why is that? It's because of one common denominator. Who's the one common denominator in all this? My guy, you need to take a good look in the mirror. I'm just saying. Have you ever seen a fucking music documentary in your life? You didn't watch none of these music documentaries ever, ever as a musician? Yeah, there's levels to this shit, for sure. The reason you don't know about people closest to you moving away from you is because you never had $30 million in your bank account. See, I mean, here he goes bragging about the size of his bank account. You know what I mean? I got $30 million in my bank account. Cool story, bro. That, <clears throat> that is going to be something that you won't be able to take with you when your day of judgment comes. Nobody cares about your money, dude. That's why you don't know. Go watch the fucking documentaries and you'll learn about it. You're dude, you don't need to watch a bunch of documentaries to know how the music industry works. There's plenty of artists who talk about the inner workings of the music industry. <clears throat> All you have to do is watch some interviews of some artists to talk about how the music industry works. Watching one right now and you don't even know it. And that's not me trying to flex or fucking be cool. That's the reason I don't like money, dude. I fucking hate the idea of money. It fucking makes people act nuts. If you want to call the truth flexing, and you want to call me telling you the truth. No, this is you not being able to handle success. Acal is a successful artist. Look how well he's doing. Mises is another successful artist. Look how well he's doing. These grown men 
have families that they got to feed, right? So that's where their attention is on. Their, their priority is their family, their loved ones. You are still that little boy trapped inside of a grown ass mid 30s male body. And you are on here on the internet talking about other grown men and what they're supposedly doing. <clears throat> Again, if you follow both church and a cow on the internet what is it that you see a cow doing and what is it that you see church doing i see a cow again talking about his family posting stuff with him spending time with his family i see a cow posting stuff about you know the election that's coming up all the current events that are going on that's what i see him doing a cow's doing his thing this man is posting Instagram stories talking about how people are supposedly after him again with these little feminist quotes that he posts up you know what I mean these big victim quotes that he be posting up whether it's it's his quotes or it's him talking about how oh, other people are saying this about me other people are doing this you know what I mean we're, 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 we're trying to make the genre grow we're trying to make the genre bigger we're trying to unite the people how's this uniting the people Mm -hmm. This is this is not how you create unity. This is division right here that you're trying to push. <clears throat> Me having a big ego, go for it. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because there's levels to this shit once again. And and this and and this is not braggadocious. It's just it's just knowledge of these levels. Do you know what it's like for your fucking parents to call you? Be like, can I borrow $390,000? And you as the son, you're like, what the fuck for what? To pay all my back taxes. You don't know what the fuck that's like. Do you know what it's like to try to have a relationship with your parents? And they call you be like, hey, son, you want to come over and hang out? And you get over there and there's a bunch of fucking people in the driveway waiting for you to sign stuff. You don't know what that's like. You know who does? The artist in the documentaries. Go watch the Elton John movie and watch the scene where. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here's where he starts comparing himself to a mainstream artist like Elton John. And he's trying to use Elton John's documentary to try to incorporate stuff in his life that may or may not be true. I'm not saying it is or it isn't. Because I don't know what be going on with him and his family behind the scenes. I'll give him that much. He may be telling the truth. He may not be. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I mean, I do find it convenient, though, how he's trying to use, you know, a docu-film based on Elton John's life and try to make it where, like, his life, it works the same way or it's similar. How his family is trying to use him to get ahead. That may be the case. It may not be. I mean, we know this much. We know Patty did try to steal some of his money and she was buying houses in his name and stuff like that. So I will give him that much credit. You know what I'm saying? I still feel like Patty is wrong, but at the same time, I feel like he was wrong in bringing their personal drama out here on the internet. That's just, that's just my opinion. Anyway. <clears throat> Where he comes to his dad's house. He's happy to see his dad. The only thing his dad wants to talk about is the fucking money. 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 How much money you make. Then what? Then the dad asked for one of his albums. And then he's, he's happy because his dad asked for one of his albums. Then his dad says, well, it ain't for me. It's not my thing. But can you sign this to my friend at work? You don't know what that's like. You're not on that level. And you know, the irony of this is... I got noticed by Elton John mm -hmm. when I was 26 years old. Mm -hmm. If one of you motherfuckers got noticed by Elton John, your head would have got so fucking big that you couldn't pick it up off the ground from the gravity. Dude, I've met many of celebrities. Do you see me going around bragging about that? No. And I, and I only talk about times when I meet certain celebrities 
when it's relevant to a topic that I'm discussing. Like just recently, I did a Crow movie review, right? I was talking about all the Crow movies, and I said that the Crow Wicked Prayer, you know what I'm saying, was the worst one um, in the rankings. And I also said it, and that's no offense to Eddie Furlong, who I did meet. Wasn't bragging, I was just saying. I just met the dude, cool dude, you know what I mean? Total sweetheart, awesome dude. You know what I mean? So no, it's nothing against him. It's just, I just feel like the, that Crow movie that he was in, wasn't it? Again, I was just talking about it. It's not being braggadocious. I have even said in a song too, I called out motherfuckers who were being struck, uh, starstruck because oh, Upchurch noticed them or whatever the fuck. Yeah, Upchurch noticed me too. And I only talked about the times when he and I had interactions, again, when it's relevant to a topic or a discussion, to a topic of discussion, I should say. Excuse me. <clears throat> it is what it is at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Look, celebrities are human beings. I said this in a song. Celebrities are just human beings. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. It's not disrespectful. It's just, it is what it is. They are human beings. They're heavily flawed human beings, just like you and I. You know what I mean? They're not gods. They're not someone that's to be, you know, held on this high pedestal or whatever the fuck or to be idolized. They're just people at the end of the day who earn a living showcasing their talents, whether it's acting, whether it's, whether it's music, whatever the case. I met Jason David Frank before he passed. God rest his soul. Yeah. You know, I met many, many wonderful people. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Anyway. Black do it. Does that mean that they're like people that are like my friends or whatever, the, whatever the case? No. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. That's the difference between me and y'all. So with my career getting as big as it did, and me being a music person who loves music and has watched all the documentaries, I knew what I was in for. So that's why I said I'm staying independent. I've said that from day fucking one. Because I knew from watching these documentaries what the problems were gonna be. I was, I already knew. I was, so what do you do? You jump over them and you go around them. How many, how many girls have I got pregnant? Oh, that's right. One. One that went to my high school. How many drugs have that, that should get more of your attention than these internet ghosts that you're changing that, that you're chasing just saying have i done how many times have i od'd how many times have everybody seen me at parties doing drugs oh that's right zero well what do you know that's two of the main problems in all these documentaries with these fucking people so you stay the fuck away from them if your goal is to do the fucking music if you stay away from those things well fuck you can make a fuck ton of music and you can get really far how many albums do I have? Exactly, fool. And you know, going back to the whole blueprint thing. See, this is a guy who doesn't brag, but yet here he is bragging about, oh, how he only got one girl pregnant. Okay, cool. Good for you, man. You did, you did right. You did the right thing so far. You know what I mean? Oh, you know, how many records do I have out and all this snap, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you got a bunch of records out. Cool. You made a lot of music. Cool. Great. Wonderful. But again, see, look at you're you're wasting time on bullshit. And of course, you can afford to do that because, like you said, you have what thirty million in your bank account. So you can afford to do do this kind of stuff. But acknowledge what you're doing. Acknowledge the fact that you're a grown ass man on here crying and bitching on the internet about other people. And what they're doing and then you're over here trying to trying to tell people other people what they should be doing when really you should be following your own advice and do what you should be doing 
Worry about doing what you should be doing. That's what you should be doing. When your life is like mine and you really had no direction, you just had a dream, that's it. Your dream ever since you was a kid, become a rapper and a singer. And you finally acquire that. And you start meeting these people at shows and you engage with them and you ride at mud parks with them and you have all these very sentimental memories with these people. You know how many people have memories with me, dude? A fuck ton. Some real ass fucking memories. Well, then what happens? You become the most respected. Who is the most respected in country rap? I'm fucking sorry, but it's me, motherfucker. And you don't have an ego? <laughs> you are not the most respected country singer rapper in the game right now. You're just not. Again, 3.27 million subs. This video has 51k views with only 6.1k likes. You're not the most respected, dog. <laughs> Oh, and he doesn't have an ego. Wow, okay. And I know it's me. That's cool. You can believe that all you want about yourself. Hey, it's good to see that you have no shortness of confidence within yourself. That's cool. More power to you, bro. And that's the only problem I can think that y'all motherfuckers got with me. Because everything else, y'all can't. You can say it, but fuck, there's nothing that backs it up. Says the guy who stays locked up in a compound. And then when he does go to his show, right, he shows up in a tour bus with a security team always surrounding him and everything. Okay. And going back to what the fuck do y'all want from me, dude? What the? Nobody wants anything from you. Well, Adam just wanted your friendship. That's all he wanted, and that's all he ever truly cared about. Mises pretty much wanted the same thing. That's why Mises put out a video a while back saying how he, even though he was hanging out with you at a show, right? And he wanted to take pictures with you, he didn't do it. Why? Because of something that you said. You didn't want to be feel like you, you're being used for like publicity or you know for people to be like oh yeah i know this guy I associated with this guy whatever yeah this is my friend whatever right blah blah, blah. whatever the, whatever it was he respected the fact that you know he didn't want you to feel like you were being used for his benefit but see you don't appreciate the the, the, the good things that you get instead you only pay attention to the negatives. You pay attention to all the bullshit. You barely acknowledge the good things that happen to you. That people do for you. And with that being the case, why would anyone want to be around someone like you? I know personally firsthand what that feels like. Earlier this year, I put out a video about a dude in our community, right, who I've helped out who I've done for and what did I get returned oh you didn't do shit for me you didn't do nothing for me now why would I go in and want to help somebody like that make that make sense why would anyone want to want to be around someone like you again who's on the internet claims to not be about the drama hates drama but yet been putting out nothing but drama lately talking about other people on the internet and what they're doing and then you're trying to dictate their lives by telling them what they should be doing versus what you should be focusing on and that is what you're doing what you should be doing just saying practice what you preach brother i'm just saying the fuck do you want because what y'all saying don't make any fucking sense the only Neither do you with your goofy ass word salad. Word I see popping up in my brain is jealousy, 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 or envy, envy, envy. Nobody's jealous of you, dog. It's all in your head. Otherwise, what is it? I've had the same goal and the same passion 
for this shit since 2015. That's why so many people respect me, because I've respected them and I've kept my fucking word. Is that a problem to you? Nobody gives a fuck. I've been... Except for you, you give a fuck, and that's why you're angry. L listen to your tone of voice right now, dude. You're angry, dude. Why are you angry? I hear the bitterness in your tone, in your voice. What do you have to be so bitter about? Like you said, you're a successful country singer and rapper. But yet you're talking like someone who's got so much anger and so much bitterness. Why? Why? Been given the opportunity to sell out more times than there are rappers in this lane of fucking music. I've said no every single time. There's no like in between where it's like, oh, well, he was signed for a year. No, I've been signed never. I've turned down more money than I have ever even imagined of having. Do you know why? Because I've never imagined having a bunch of money. I've only imagined having a goal and being successful at the goal. See, that's a problem with a lot of you motherfuckers. You don't get into this because you like it. You get into it because you see easy money. Now, that is not fair for you to say because you don't know what other people's intentions are when they get into doing music, when they get into creating content. You, you, that is not your place to dictate what other people's intentions are. And if you're going to do that then don't be upset when people say well you're only in it for the money you're only in it for, for, for the toys the lifestyle and whatever the case don't get mad when people say that to you if you're gonna throw that at people you don't know what my intentions are when I decided to get into music did you know that I started writing lyrics since I was 13 years old when I was in junior high you think you're the only one in the world who had a dream and a passion for music? Newsflash, my guy, you're not. And that's why in my recent diss track, where I called you out, I list the names of people who inspired me. I acknowledge Dr. Dre, who was one of my biggest inspirations. I acknowledge N.W.A. I acknowledge Tupac. And those are only just a few of my influences. Those are only a few of the people who inspired me to get into the game. I grew up in California on the West Coast. A lot of people came out of this state that inspired me, ya boy. I'm just saying. Dude. Dude, you is eagle tripping. But you know what's not easy? <clears throat> Persuading the listener of this lane of music. Do you know why country rap is not in the mainstream? Because the listener, the listeners of this lane of music want real and authentic. The mainstream gives you scripted, and gimmick. I don't think country rap should be mainstream ever. I think it needs to stay original as long as it can. See, now to a degree, I can agree with this. Yes, it's true. The mainstream, they basically have you on a leash. They basically restrict you as to what you can and can't say. They moderate your lyrics. So yeah, I have more respect for independent artists, underground artists, you know what I'm saying, that choose to stay underground, choose to stay independent, so they can say what exactly what they want to say. Those people I will always have the utmost respect for. But yeah, we, we, we can agree on that. We can agree on that. Because that's the only way that these country folks are going to connect with it. 
When somebody who really don't do this shit, don't live this life, does it, everyone can tell when you're uncomfortably doing a weird fucking looking donut on a four-wheeler that you just bought today to look country. Like, that's sad, but that's, that is true. We've set the bar extremely fucking high. But then you're, you're that kind of person, though, that likes to think that the country only exists in the South. No. The country exists countrywide, nationwide. Every state has rural areas. Every state has country elements to it. California has rural, rural small town areas. I just know I live in one right now. I live in a county where it's mostly country farmland. You know what I'm saying? And I love it out here, man. It's beautiful. Much better than that big city life. Although I do miss the big city because as I mentioned in my Facebook postings, I noticed that <clears throat> back home in, in, in the city, um, in the old neighborhood I grew up in, every year people always, almost every house would be decorated for Halloween, Christmas, and everything. You look forward to that time of year because you look forward to seeing everybody around you being, you know, in, in the spirit of things. Over here where I'm at now, it's only me and a few other neighbors that decorate every year. It's sad. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's besides the point. Uh, <clears throat> country exists everywhere, bro. It's in every state. Okay, it's not just the South. That's just that's just a fact. And it's always been that way. And you would know that had you been more well traveled throughout the country. Mr. Country Boy. On accident, by the way. I didn't mean it. I wasn't like, hmm, we're setting the bar really high. But when in your music video, when you're riding a fucking Willy on a YFZ 450 at 50 miles an hour with one hand looking and waving at the camera, that's when the country folks are like, yo, that motherfucker really be riding that four wheeler. I know that sounds goofy, but it's true. And see, that's what, that's why I keep going back to what the fuck do y'all want? Cause you goofy fucks ain't making no sense. One day, Ryan's got all these problems, man, all the problems he has. Well, you do have all kinds of problems. I mean, you're demonstrating some of your problems right now. You're putting some of your problems out there on the internet. Uh, that's all you know how to do. The next day, Y'all around here saying, oh, well, he ain't crazy, man. No, y'all just don't understand. A clear sign of someone who was raised in a single parent household. Someone with a big old ego, right? Bragging about the size of their bank account, right? Bragging about how many records they got out, right? Tell me this is not a product of someone who was raised in a single mother household. I mean, this, this is a clear sign so, trust me, I know because I have a cousin, not gonna name names, out of respect for the privacy, who's raised, who, who is a product of a single mother household, and he measures his manhood by how many women he slept with, you know what I'm saying, and uh, yeah, how much money he has and all this and that, you know what I mean, very, very braggadocious, how good he is at video games and all this and that. It's like, dude, dude, you do realize that you are letting people know that you are a product of a single mother household, right? Because men who were raised by their fathers or were raised in a dual parent household don't be acting this way. They don't need to act this way because it's silly and it's not what men do. Y'all y'all just hide y'all's crazy. Which one is it? One day, I don't fucking need up church on my fucking album. The next day, man, we, we all want up church on the album. Which one is it, dude? You know what's wrong with y'all? Y'all don't know who the fuck you are. Kind of ironic that he, he just said what he said. 
You know what the problem is with y'all? Y'all don't even know who you are. Dude, you don't even know who you are anymore, bro. You think you're that same dude, but you're not. You can try to convince yourself that's all you want, dude, but you're not that dude, okay? Look at you, man, in your long johns. You know what I'm saying? On, on camera, talking about other people and what other people are doing that you claim doesn't bother you but yet here you are clearly angered by it as it as it is clear in your tone yeah it really don't take that much to get you all feisty does it i remember the little back and forth you and i had on my channel it didn't take much you finally stopped though when i pointed it out And that's why you won't say my name, dude, because you're afraid to acknowledge someone who bested you and called you out on your bullshit and had the receipts to back up the claims I made against your bullshit. It's okay. You don't have to say it, dude. I know. I know. You don't know where you're going. You only want to make the money. That's what the fuck is wrong with y'all. And if you're over there and you do know who you are, you know what's wrong with you? You're hanging around motherfuckers that don't know who they are. I'm here. Well, at least they're hanging around with other people. I mean, who are you hanging around with, with, with these days? I mean, how much smaller has your circle gotten these days? I know you and Ripta have been hanging out, right? Shooting up party city skeletons, dressed in sombreros and shit. And you made an Instagram story about that, so don't lie. Um. And I started this for the country folks like myself. I wanted to be the best, most talented motherfucker for the country folks like myself. What are you in it for? Do you have any idea? I could write a goddamn book on why I'm doing it. Don't worry about why I'm in it. Don't worry about why other people are in it. Worry about why you're in it. What, what is your intentions? What's in your heart? That's what you should be worried about. I know what I'm in it for. I don't got to say it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the decision for you because really it's not your decision. It's mine. No, 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 no. See, you got that ass backwards. You are in charge of your life. You are in charge of your decisions. I will do whatever the fuck I want. I will say whatever the fuck I want. If you got a problem with it, don't watch. Don't listen do y'all's fucking albums by your damn self. I want no part of what y'all are doing. Good. It looks stupid as fuck and gimmick. Cool. Get better at music. Get better at writing. And for God's sakes, it's country rap. Put some fucking strings in your damn songs. The country element. Oh my god. Again, who are you to dictate to other people on, on to the kind of music that they can make and to the kind of music they want to make? That is not your place. Worry about the kind of music that you make. Go do what you want. Make the kind of music you want. I'm gonna make the kind of music I want. If I wanna make a country song, I'll make a fucking country song. And if you got a problem with that, come do something about it. I want to make a country rap song. I will make a country rap song. Oh, wait, I already have. Come do something about it. If you got a problem with it. No, see, here's what, what you're going to do. You're going to keep coming on your YouTube channel. You're going to keep posting Instagram stories. Popping off at the jaw about other people because that's who you are. That's what you do. That's what people like you do do because you love the drama you love the attention it doesn't matter if it's positive attention or negative attention attention is attention so as long as you're getting that attention that's your drug right there dude the attention apparently your wife ain't giving you that much attention so you so here you are on the internet crying for more attention because you're not getting enough of it that's sad that's sad 
maybe your your wife's not giving you that much attention because you're not giving her that much attention. Maybe you should remedy that. Since you're since you're in the mood to tell other people what to do, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a day a dose of your own medicine. Go pay your girl more attention. Go pay your kid more attention. How about that? Your overalls ain't working. Your overalls don't make it a country song, though. And those and that onesie you're wearing ain't working. Overalls don't make a sound. The John Deere in the background that don't belong to you does not solidify your entire existence as a fucking country rapper. P.S. You something different like a fucking Kubota or something. And if you have a problem with me, who fucking gives a fuck? A lot of people... You do. You care. That's why you're talking about it. That's why you're addressing it. Because it bothers you. Stop playing yourself, dude. You look like a whole ass liberal right now. With the way you're behaving. People have a problem with shit they don't understand anyways. I'm gonna choose who I get to fuck with and who I make music with, and it's only one. Cool, do you, dog? One person right now, just Trey. Yeah, see, and you're only fucking with just Trey because just Trey is the only one who doesn't know you that well yet. Yet. But I bet y'all, months from now, if not a year from now, sooner or later, he'll beef with just Trey. It'll be a chase, another Chase Matthew type incident. We'll see. It'll happen. And if it doesn't, hey, cool. I was wrong. Whatever. Wouldn't be the first time I would be wrong. Wouldn't be the last time I'd be wrong. He's got more passion in this shit than all y'all combined. Do this shit on your fucking own. Do it without mentioning the name Up Church, without blaming Up Church, without. F uh, All right, we go. <laughs> people are talking about me on the internet. People are saying my name. <laughs> you are a public figure. So if I want to talk about you, I'll talk about you. If I want to mention you in my songs, I will mention you in my songs. I took on a country rap god, got the Tom Mac response. Facts. But it's okay, see, there's no love lost. Nope. It's only rap. Yeah, it's just hip hop. Everyone loves Gangsta J. Till What's it's time for me to get gangsta. I'm the wrong one one day. Man, fuck what these cunts have to say. I don't let bullies have their way. When will I ever lay off Sarah but her? Probably the day she decides to ditch her skirt. Or with me, she quits with a flirt. Got a problem with that? Jump on the mic. Jump on the stick. Let's go. What? I don't even know what the fuck you call it. Fucking fake shadow dissing up church. I do it on your fucking own, okay? I'm not your fucking. Um, let's see. If I'm writing my stuff, recording my stuff, mixing, mastering my stuff, I think um, I think I got the whole doing it on your own thing under control. So, yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. I got it. I'm not your topic of discussion no more. Let's see y'all do it on your own without mentioning up church. Cause it's gotten so pathetic with you fucking onion collecting fucking actors that you had fucking Mises, some dude I met one. Oh my God, his balls finally dropped. He actually said a name. He said Mises' name. <laughs> Brian just became a man. <laughs> One time, fucking years and years ago. Uh, you still hung up on that lie about, oh, this guy Mises who I only met one time. Dog, there's photo evidence and video evidence of you guys meeting more than just once. And you guys being closer than just mere acquaintances, as you put it. Oh, who, what do you know, is friends with Adam? You can tell, I mean, fuck, they're pretty much twins. Yeah. They've been friends since childhood. So what? See, look, you hear the bitterness in his voice when he brings up their these guys' friendship. He's and he and he's talking about people. I'm talking about jealousy. People being jealous of him, dude. It sounds like you're jealous. You're jealous of what Mises and Adam have, and that's why you're talking about it. Jeez, dude. Jeez, Louise.
made a series of content to make money. And the topic was how Upchurch didn't remember him from meeting him one time. Yeah, he had to fact check you because you lied. Again, the guy who once said, if you gotta tell one lie, then you gotta tell another lie on top of that lie, then another lie on top of that lie. And before you know it, you're stacking up all kinds of L's. But if you tell the truth, you never have to stack an L ever in your life. You said this, and yet what have you been doing lately? You've been lying, you're lying here again. You have become the things that you've always fought against. The things that you've always roasted and made fun of, that's what you've become now. It's sad. It's pathetic. And what's even sadder and more pathetic, you're, you, you don't see it. No, everyone else is the problem. But never you, right? You can never do no wrong, right? You're always right. You're always perfect. And you wonder why people think you have an ego issue. You do have an ego. You do have an ego problem. Your ego tripping right now in this video. Fucking seven years ago. That's how you, that's y'all's art and craft y'all are doing. Y'all don't have jack shit to talk about to these people. That's why y'all don't have any storytelling songs. That's why y'all have no timeless songs. It's all, I'm fucking angry, I'm fucking angry. I'm, fu I'm fucking angry. You're not a musician. You're a fucking YouTube rapper. And that is also not your place to say. And by the way, you post music on YouTube too, so that would technically also make you a YouTube rapper. You see how dumb you sound right now? You see how stupid you sound? Is you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Remember that? You wanna be a musician? Do shit musicians do. Cause right now, you're doing what drama queens do. You're doing Says the drama queen who was on here crying and bitching about what other people are doing and how other people are talking about me on the internet. They're saying my name. They're saying my name in YouTube videos. They're saying my name in their songs. Oh. Welcome to the internet, bro. You want people to stop talking about you? Stop talking about people. Practice what you preach. You are a public figure. Anything you do out there on the internet, it is fair game. It is open for discussion. So either get used to it or get the fuck out. You're going to be a big ass crybaby about it. And what actors do. Oh, what do you know? Y'all are trying to drag some mainstream shit over here. Says the actor. I mean, here's a guy who act all big and bad. Be like, yo, yeah, I will, I will confront a motherfucker. Yeah, right. And that's why, that, that why that when Adam, Struggle, and Jelly, when they all wanted to confront you, what do you do? Oh, you hide behind your, your little security gates and your armed guards. I bet you've never been into a single fight. Not a single one. You probably don't even know how to fight. I've been to a ton of fights myself. I know how to fight. I know Adam has been into to a bunch of fights. So I know Adam knows how to fight. I know a bunch of people who've been to but I can tell when people have those who have been into a bunch of fights know how to defend themselves and those who don't. And you're looking like one of those people who doesn't. Again, that's why you're always locked up in your compound and then even when you're out and about or you go to shows, whatever, you got a whole security squad around you so nobody gets near you or whatever, because you know you're 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 afraid. You're afraid, dog. You're not that real dude anymore. And your view count and your like to dislike ratio, it shows. Here's the only fucking thing standing in y'all's way, me. You're not in anybody's way, dude. You're not the gatekeeper in the music game. Again, look at this, look, look at his face. Look at this guy. Thinking he's king shit and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's mostly, it, this, he does all this to convince himself. He doesn't need to convince you or I. He doesn't need to convince his own audience. He's doing this to convince himself. And he doesn't believe it. And that's why he still makes videos like this. Stop showing your hand, dude. I gotta be on board with the shit, and I'm not. So just like I said in Pioneer, leave me, leave me alone. I ain't, I ain't home. Even if you see me through the wind window. I show...
You want people to leave, leave you alone. Well, then you need to leave, leave them alone. Do one of those, you would have them do one to you. Put people through the music that my, the way I think about this shit don't change. Turbulence just came out. What does it say in Turbulence? I thought I told these fuckboys two years ago to leave me, leave me alone. I repeatedly just don't want to fuck with y'all. And y'all are just so mad about it. And you present me ideas. Your ideas fucking suck. Your ideas are not better than anything I'm doing. You know who is worth spending time with? Just Trey. Again, because he doesn't know you, the real you, yet. That's the only person I see right now that I want to fuck with. If your name ain't Just Trey, then I don't give a fuck. Dude, who remembers when Church put out quality music with Stoner? Right? Stone Baby Sounds? Mm. Now that, that... That was a time right there, dude. That, that That is the era of all eras right there when it comes to up Church. I mean, nothing he does now will ever top that, dude. I'm, I'm just saying, dude. Shout out to uh, Stone Baby, you know what I mean? Bro, let's go. He don't bother nobody. He keeps his head down and he fucking works his ass off. Uh, that's not entirely true. Uh, Just Trey put out a diss track on Adam Calhoun that he later deleted. To his credit, he did delete later on. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Just Trey is no is no angel by any stretch. So don't don't try to play that, bro. Don't try to play that. No gimmicks, no nothing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Keep hashtagging me and talking about me. It's not gonna fucking matter. Keep making videos about what's wrong with me. It's not gonna fucking matter. The only real issue that y'all actually have, it seems, is I'm standing in your way. No, you're not. You're not a roadblock for anybody. Yeah, if people say they don't need you, odds are they don't need you. I'm just doing this for shits and giggles. I'm just doing this for funsies. Because I want to. And because I can. And I'm not even standing in your way. I'm standing where I've been standing the whole fucking time. Get your own fucking spot. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't think anyone has a problem with that. I mean, it is what it is. But anyway, y'all, that was up, church, with a um, <laughs> a very, very entertaining, very, very funny video, but. Not for the reasons he may think it is, for all the wrong reasons, according to him. <laughs> I had fun with this one. Uh, hopefully, y'all did too. If y'all did, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. Don't forget to dig that, dig, ding the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'd be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, more more fun content on the way, uh, more music on the way. And um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna let him tell me what kind of music I can put out either. You know, I'll put out whatever the fuck I want to put out because that's what real men do in the music game. They put out whatever they want, right? Right, Church? Anyway. <laughs> if I want to do a remix, I'll do a remix. If I want to do an original song, I'll do an original song. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I want it, if I want to cover a song, I'll cover a song. Because I'm like, this jackass here, I'll do whatever the fuck I want. And I don't got nobody in my ear telling me different. So anyway. Alright, y'all. Much love. Much appreciation for y'all who came to hang out and watch this video with me. And, uh, yeah. Catch y'all on the next one. Alright. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason? JV. What up, Jason? JV. I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy. My guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? I'm Jimmy Badass. I'm going to have to do that to do it on the street. Who's saying what's up to me? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. You're sad. You're sad. You're sad. You're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!